Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's Nemesis. For those of y'all that are watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and send it out to more people. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody else. Um, if you need a one-on-one, -on -one, the link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is also in the description. Um, y'all gonna make sure y'all check out my new singles, Superstition and Masquerade. They are both available here on the channel. The performance video for Superstition is available here on the channel. And Superstition is about me overcoming my narcissistic experience and triumphing over it and it also features a voicemail of my ex narc trying to hoover me and i ain't going for it also masquerade is about my ex narc popping back up after some time and trying to act like she was a completely different person and nothing happened um they're both based on true stories true events and i think they'll really help a lot of y'all in y'all's healing journey to bring a lot of things in perspective especially to those who want to know my personal story so that is a way for y'all to um i guess be a part of my personal story so make sure y'all go leave me some feedback comment share and do all that good stuff but today i just want to continue talking about you not needing them again like i said they convince you that you're that they're the only person that you need that's where the isolation comes from they start telling you things about your family they start telling you things that are untrue about your friends and i was i was saying this um in an interview um yesterday um narcissists need you to abandon your reality and adopt theirs because if you stay in your reality the things that they do or try to do to you won't make sense and you'll ultimately end up abandoning them but see the thing is they deprive you and they devalue you and they um, keep love and affection and all of these things from you so you start questioning your own reality and you start making the rationalization you start making a rationalization that okay well maybe if i leave my reality and join their reality i'll get the things that i want from them i'll get that healthy relationship i'll get that love i'll get that affection i'll get the sex that they want and in a way you start looking at it as your reality has let you down because you're not getting satisfied in your reality. So what you end up doing is abandoning yours and adopting theirs, thinking that you'll, you'll prosper in their reality. Because what a lot of people fail to realize, if you enter their reality, you have to play by their rules. And their rules never benefit you. They only benefit them. And you have to play by their rules to coexist in their reality. See, for them to coexist in yours, they have to play by your rules. Your rules won't ever benefit them. So they have to convince you that your reality is not going to satisfy you. You need to come play in my world. But if you come play in my world, you have to abide by my rules. Not knowing that their rules are never going to serve you. They're going to break you down. So now you go over into this new reality. And you start realizing, hey, I'm still not getting what I want. And I didn't abandon my reality. And now I'm over here in this different reality. I'm still not getting satisfied. But here's where we get discombobulated. And where the anxiety kicks in. And the pressure kicks in. Now you're not satisfied in their reality. You want to go back to yours. 
where everything made sense. But because you've already left your reality for an alternate reality and you were disappointed, now you're scared to once again leave a reality for another one and be disappointed again. Do y'all follow me? So now the reality that they've created for you seems like the end all be all. And the actual reality that you're supposed to be living in, which is your right fucking mind, it seems foreign. It seems scarce over there. Because you've already been let down and scarred by a reality. Now you're questioning the real reality, which is yours. You don't believe in it anymore. You believe if you go back over here, what if they get it right when I leave? What if I'm not satisfied again when I leave? And I, I hope y'all following me. I know this reality stuff is, you know, it gets deep and it can possibly confuse you. But they have to convince you that your reality is not worth living in. So you abandon it. So now by you abandoning it, by you abandoning your own reality... Now you don't trust yourself. So now when it comes time to make a decision to leave them, you're not sure if you're doing the right thing. Now when it comes time to move on to a new relationship, you're not sure if that's the right thing either. Because last time you picked something, you let yourself down. And that's what they want. For you not to trust yourself and a side note is you're going to make mistakes do not live in your mistakes do not be buried by your mistakes your mistakes are what made you and they're going to help grow you learn from them don't be scared of them a mistake a mistake is probably the best thing you can do for your life because it teaches you what you don't want and what you deserve They want to convince you that the world that you're living in is not real. It's not going to bring satisfaction to you. So they like, come on over to death row. If you don't want somebody all in your videos, all at the war show, anybody y'all know, you know, any, any of y'all know about Suge Knight, y'all will get that. But they want you to come to their record label. They want you to come sign with them where the stipulations only make sense for them. And they teach you this so that they can convince you that they are your end all be all. That's why they separate you away from family. They separate you away from friends. They separate you away from anything that goes against their reality because they have to make it seem like their reality is the only way and it's not. You don't need them. They need you. They need your love. They need your light. They need your attitude. They need your focus. They need your drive, your ambition, your energy, the essence of who you are, your light. That's what they need. Really sit and think about what have you gained from them besides heartache, besides anxiety, besides bad health, besides losing genuine relationships, besides losing yourself and besides time and history let me tell y'all something about history history don't mean a goddamn thing except for in the fucking classroom having history with somebody means nothing if there was no substance in it just because you were with somebody for 5, 10, 15 years, that doesn't mean anything if you've been mistreated the whole time. Because I'll tell you what, I would rather two months of somebody treating me like I'm supposed to be treated, 
like I've always wanted to be treated versus worrying about 10 years with some jackass that mistreated me every fucking step of the way. We got to get out of that. Oh, well, we were together for so long. So that's where I'm comfortable at. That's the problem. You've got comfortable in trauma. You've got comfortable in disrespect. You've got comfortable in being deprived emotionally and mentally. You've got comfortable not being loved correctly. You got comfortable being mistreated. So now you think that's the norm. So anything outside of that is foreign to you and it's due to them creating an alternate reality for you. You don't need them. I don't give a damn how long I knew somebody. If you start cutting up, you gotta go. No matter what our history is, you gotta start looking at the substance of your relationships. How do they make me feel when I'm with them? How do they treat me? How do they talk to me? How do they communicate back to me when they're angry? How do they communicate back to me when I'm angry? You gotta start looking at that stuff and really weighing it in, especially when you're getting older. Your values change. You have kids. You want certain people around your kids. You wanna procreate with certain people. You really got to start looking at it and it is not to be feared. It's not to be feared. It might be scary turning around, looking at some behaviors in the mirror or having some kind of um, some kind of conversations as far as how you feel about things. But I guarantee you, if you're having these conversations with the right people, they'll show you why they're not that scary. There are people out there that are ready to love you. There are people out there that are ready to um, fulfill all your needs, emotionally, physically, mentally, whatever. There are people out there that you can have a genuine connection with. But you won't ever, ever get it if you still think you need them. Needing them is an illusion that they created to create scarcity in your mind, to keep you stagnant, to keep you from moving forward, to keep you from growing. You have to recognize that. So I used to think the same thing, man, where am I gonna find somebody like her? Da -da 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 -da. Hopefully no motherfucking where. Hopefully I don't find her again. You have to start thinking that. The goal is to not find anybody like them because they're bags of shit. Jackass Supremes with extra cheese and stay your ass off their social media. I let y'all make it the last couple vid videos, but I'm on your ass now. Stay your ass off their social media because I sent you. But anyway, it's more out there. So much more out there to life than just them. They've just convinced you that they are the end all be all. And they've convinced you that you don't deserve more than them. And that's the furthest from the truth. But it starts with you. You want to spend another 10, 5, 10 years hoping this motherfucker will change, hoping that, hoping you get your mind right, hoping, uh, If they get it together, you owe yourself so much more. You owe yourself love. You owe yourself appreciation. You owe yourself growth. There are people who go to their grave knowing they need to heal and knowing they need to grow and they die without doing so. And I guarantee you that journey of not healing to death is extremely painful, extremely empty, extremely hollow and lackluster 
unfulfilling. Don't go to your grave depriving yourself. Don't care how much time you got left. Don't care how much time you think you got left. You owe yourself more than what you're allowing yourself to have. Some of y'all, there's people out there waiting to love you right now. You gotta let go of that asshole. There's an opportunity waiting for you right now, whether it's business, whatever. Let go of them because you cannot take them with you to the next level of your life. That's why a lot of y'all are stagnant. You feel like, well, I can't give, I can't move forward. I can't. Uh, get higher than this. I can't get that new job. I can't get that new boyfriend, that new uh, girlfriend, that husband, that wife, the kids, the house, the picket fence, all that. You can't because you won't let them go. Might be scary, but you know what else is scary? You knowing that you could have had everything you wanted, the life that you wanted, and you risked it because you didn't want to let the life that you know you don't want go. It takes time. But make sure while it's taking time, you're taking steps. If not, this thing will consume you. And it will destroy you. Because if you don't get out of it and don't get away from it and don't cut it off, you will perish. And you will die a slow death. And I mean from the inside out. And you will hate yourself later for not leaving. Do not be that person. Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all, um, if you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is in the description. If you want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description. Um, my new singles, Superstition and Masquerade, make sure y'all go check them out. They are available here on the channel. The performance video for Masquerade is up on the channel as well. Make sure y'all go share them, like them. Uh, leave me feedback. Let me know what y'all think of the records. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm trying to push those out. Also, um, if you need merch, stay your ass off social media. I got the t-shirts. That link is in the description. Um, y'all got to get it together. Another day, another way. You ain't got to listen. But I know you.